CJ from Mix 105.1 joins us live now. It was a memorable Grammy Awards show on this Sunday, CJ, and especially a good night for the bad guy. <laughs> yes, Billie Eilish, 18 years old, swept the Grammys. She was nominated for six awards. She won all six. She's also the youngest female to win the top four categories, uh, best new artist, best single, best album, and best record of the year. Matter of fact, at one point, they were going through the list and they announced her name as like a nominee and she's like, please don't be me, please don't be me. <laughs> because I think she was just tired of getting up and yeah. Tom going to the podium, but. Um, they were speechless at one point, her and her brother Phineas there. And I think it's yes. so cool that they, they said, we wrote an album about depression and suicidal thoughts and we did it at home. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's inspiring for other people who want to make they it They recorded music. this entire album in Phineas's bedroom. They still wow. live at home with their parents. So this is really one of those things that, you know, if you're at home and you've got that dream and you want to, you know, go after it, you can do it because Billie Eilish's album just won a Grammy and she recorded it in a closet in and her bed, in her brother's bedroom. She's 18 now, but some of those songs she recorded when she was much younger. She was 14 when some of those songs were recorded. And she did break Taylor Swift's record, by the way. She did, unfortunately. Sorry. But congratulations to Billie. That's a huge thing. <laughs> yeah. But there's some, you know, artists that actually have never won a Grammy that make me kind of go like, what? Like Diana Ross, she's never won a Grammy. What? She's won an what? honorary Grammy. Hmm. She's never won. Katy Perry, she had wow. seven number ones off of Teenage Dream, never won a Grammy. Kenny Chesney is another artist. So sometimes the Grammys kind of, you know, kind of make you do some things. And there's been some things, controversy so. with the Grammys lately. Right. There's been a lot of controversy with the Grammys, but overall, you know, the night you don't want to take away from Billie Eilish. Right. Well, knowing Billie Eilish, she might just actually go and start handing them out. Right. Because this one's for you. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Lizzo you got three. Lizzo got three. It was a great mm -hmm. night for new artists. It yeah. absolutely was. Billy and Lizzo, in my opinion, and Camila Cabello, her performance of oh, First Man. I don't know if, if you haven't yeah. seen it, you have to go watch it. It was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It was phenomenal. I cried like a was baby the whole time. Like a baby. <laughs> Big baby. Okay, <laughs> All right. <move> on. <laughs> Pet shelters, you know, they take in animals every day, but now there's a brewery in Florida that's helping owners. Find furry friends. I love this. So Motorworks Brewery in Bradenton, um, they're taking their four packs of beer and they're putting uh, photos of dogs that are up for adoption <laughs> oh, on these beer cans. Stop so it. They do this once a month and the money raised goes to local pet charities. Some of these dogs do get adopted and so Aww. it's just a win-win-win. I love when these, you know, local businesses do things in the community that benefit all members, including the furry ones. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people, I'm sure, are now fans of their beer because of Absolutely. that idea. What a cool I mean, way to kind of yeah. bridge the market there. You do something good, you have a beer, and you know, it's it's for the pets. And speaking of pets, Paws in the Park happening here in Orlando at yeah. Lake Eola on February 8th. Um, so that's another great event here locally that you can get involved with and, uh, you know, maybe bring your pets and maybe adopt one. I love that. Yeah, so that's sweet. a good one, yeah. Well, relationships, we're almost at Valentine's time. Val relationships don't always last, but I think it's safe to say that people will always be passionate <laughs> about their food. And now DoorDash <laughs> has a very interesting way of how you can kind of maybe get rid of those inked constant reminders. It's a contest they're doing on their Twitter. So if you follow DoorDash, it's at DoorDash on Twitter. You can uh, tweet a photo of the uh, your ex's name or maybe it's your ex's face. Um, and Which, why would you even do that? I mean, it's one of those things that you know, like it may not work out. Um, <laughs> but basically they're gonna pick three people and then they're gonna fly them out and have it professionally tattooed with a food item to yeah. cover there's, it up. There's, so, there's a butt there. And they, apparently um, mm -hmm. it was like 65% of people who get their ex's names tattooed do regret the decision. <laughs> Like 65 percent. That seems hurt. kind of low. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy if I was, you know, one of the. Uh, so anyway, if you've got your ex's name tattooed at DoorDash on Twitter, maybe you can get it covered up with a burger or you know a lollipop or a taco. All right. So if you had to get <laughs> your ex's one. name covered up, what food would you want it tattooed on you? Cotton candy. Yes. I think that would be fun. It's a little conversation piece. Whoa. I love theme parks. You know, it's kind of for me, and I'm sweet. It's better than a corn dog. Yeah. You, have to choose a corn dog. you have to choose very carefully. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. So my little, my little cotton candy. We get to hang out on Friday. I am blushing so hard right now. It's you look insane. like cotton candy. It's insane. Choices. <laughs> yeah, choices. choices. Anyway, speaking of choices, maybe you've got an event coming up that you want a personalized pinpoint accurate forecast for. I'll let Candace do that. And I'll mm -hmm. just sit back and eat the cotton candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always fun. We've had some good some good options. So. You've been spot on with the weather. It's like we you're professionally your... trained in this. <laughs> just a little bit. I dabble <laughs> once in a while. Awesome, CJ. Thank you. See you next okay. week. Okay. You're the best.